Introducing first from Brazil, the gold medalist of the 2007 Brazilian National Badminton Team, Mr. Dan Rupel. You better be careful over his metal mic wag itself off into the sky. Oh, it seems to have calmed down now. And introducing his opponents. On the streets of Yonkers, New York, Wags to Riches, Kenny Black. Not just unmuted the cats again, and the sound, game sound, sounds like it's coming in loud and clear. Yeah, I'm just doing it again. checking. Thank God all these bottles I pop, all this paper I've been getting, all these models I pop. Alright, looks like I think the game got Look at me, look at me, I'm a boss like my nigga Rose. Hey, you're coming in good, so that's a good thing. I job, you know I had to sell, yeah. Bitch, I'm a boss. I call a shot. So a little FTR action for you to begin the night. Big card tonight. Uh three championships on the line. There's 13 matches on FTR. 13. And then... Uh, about 30 for both Mayhem and Anarchy. Which is why... If, if, I would say if we're not... If we get done with... Um, if we get Anarchy done... Oh, no. Not this guy. His opponent and uh, their opponent from I don't know where, Tommy Wiseau. Well, uh, we call San Francisco then. Yes, uh, so. I think our first show was going to be Anarchy. Um, well, hmm. Well, Anarchy's got the two title matches where Mayhem has won. And Anarchy's got the bigger, more matches. No, we'll do. Wait. What? Are you kidding me? I don't know where this guy's from either. This is unfair. Coming down the aisle, Jimmy Zan. He's from the subway? Okay. Well played. Melody. Uppercut you so hard, you're gonna end up in the top surface. Or on train tracks. Yeah, in the right situation. Introducing next, from the Caribbean, uh, Davey Rogers! Now, Doom, I know you don't, I know you haven't done too many FTR casts with me, but I think you understand who this guy's related to. Oh, yeah, he's the um, son of Jake and Faith. That's uh, right. I may be lurking around and acting silly all the time, but when I'm in my sanctuary watching, I'm in it watching. Now I like to send a happy belated birthday out to our beloved Duke Dice. 
May the odds be ever in your favor, Mr. Gambler. And I think this is our final participant. Introducing finally, who's the last guy? Oh God! This oh no! Guy. Oh no! From Megaton, or wherever he's from, Butcher Pete. I don't know if you played um, New Vegas long enough to reach. Um, I don't know what's sad. The free sad where that guy warns you to um, talk to the greeter before you get in um, New Vegas. But there was like a butcher in that game that his father um, worked for, or like he proceeded his father that was using human remains. So. I don't know if that was part of the Fallout lore or anything like that, but it's kind of interesting. Hmm. Well, as we can see, Butcher Pete not only chops up to me, but he's very accident prone against himself. Well, it doesn't hurt when he. It doesn't help when he's carrying a chainsaw. Exactly. Especially a spark. Arcing chainsaw. Yeah. All these characters in the ring just why so Zaz, Pete, Rogers, and two other guys. Wow. Yeah, the two other guys are fighting each other, which would be Dan Rupel and Rags to Riches Kenny Black. Almost like they have matching gear, but Rupal has just like some sort of Michigan Wolverines hairstyle going on. Actually, it's Brazilian. That's a little bit of everything. It's a Brazilian oh. colors, like. Yeah. Ole. He's a, he's a little nuts. Andre V has the Pele kick in his arsenal. Good question. Well, Zaz, you you can't leave the ring. So. Hammer throwing might be a bit of an issue here, and Butcher Pete and Jimmy Zaz are, are showing you why. Top and drop over there by myself. Yeah, a full crowd in the FTR arena tonight. Two headed Bulldog and a quick cover here. Why so? And a one count there and a one count there. So, why so? Getting the early count on Rogers, who knows how to take, a, take an L, if I may. Sidewalk slam by Wiseau, and once again, Kenny Black and T oh no, Wiseau stunner down goes Davy Rogers, and okay. Butcher Pete might be gone. No, Davy Rogers is out very quickly. First one eliminated. Yeah, he probably had too much of his father's rum and couldn't concentrate. Possible. Nice move there. That was a drive-by there by Kenny Black. Figures. Actually, wait a minute. Let me make sure I got that right. No, I'm sorry. It's just called the shout-out. I'm sorry. Figures still. Now what's Kenny Black going to do? Is he going to go for a cover or what's he going to do? Is he just going to stand over his opponent here? But you're Pete in trouble! Nope. Nice move there by Kenny Black. Apparently everybody has not seen Zaz. Oh, wow, he's just hurting Zaz himself now. Wow, Zaz a nice move. Yeah, like an overdraft Butcher type Pete maneuver. Goes for a cover. All that weight on. And, a one, and only a one count. Meanwhile, Dan Ruppel's just dead. Oh, and a spinning heel kick by Kenny Black. He's not dead. He's just resting intensely. Why so? I'm going for an elbow drop. Connecting. Now, why so wants Zaz up? Zaz gets bailed out. But then takes a side suplex.
But I think Zaz is going to get it anyway. Nope. Backbreaker. Delayed one. Butcher Pete's going to go after Rupal, who has been down this entire time. Big clothesline. Cover here. And why show eliminates Kenny Black. Off of a two-handed face crusher. Look at this. Why so stunner? Cover on Zaz. And there goes Jimmy Zaz. He's out. I thought I would never say this, but Tommy Wiseau is cleaning house. Wiseau cleaning house for some reason beyond my my my, uh, my understanding. You're tearing me apart, Lisa! Wiseau, Rupal, Butcher Pete. The three remaining. However, I don't like Butcher Pete's odds. Rupal's odds I don't like either. But apparently a one count. Riggers. Gotta watch out for the backstabber by Dan Rupal. Yeah, he's hit it twice on that one guy earlier. Back control! Backstabber! There it is! Rupal hits it out of nowhere on White Soul. Could do it. Cover. One, two, three. Bye bye, Tommy. And now down to Rupal and to Butcher Pete. One on one. Butcher Pete got him right where he wants him. Oh! He gouged his eyes! Gouged his eyes and he breaks him down! He took that out of Pete's ball. Rupal! Right there. Kick out. Only a one count. Pete hasn't shown anything as of yet. Uh, sign of weakness whatsoever just hit him with a big that might have done it elbow to the head and butcher pete wins yeah he was out cold butcher and apparently pete took that a lot one of beating. fan in the crowd thinks he sucks butcher pete just uh well he took a lot of damage but he kept on ticking and he won he kept on hacking, whacking, and slacking, whatever. Smacking. Chopping that meat. Yeah! Mighty, mighty man. I'm young and I'm in my prime. So Butcher Pete will go on to take on uh, Lucian Thor. Goody. Put your piece it's going over, brother. It was either that or he was going to feed us all strange meat. Yeah. Oh, I think Triple H was coming out to bury him. It could be worse. You could debut and get the shit slapped out of you. Sorry about that, Curtis Axel. My knee, Paul! This next contest is a triple threat elimination match and a qualifier in the rookies division. Okay. All three of these, all three of these competitors are wrestling in their very first official FTR match. That too, that actually means something. What was that? Unofficially, they destroyed one of our buffet carts a while back. Introducing first, Shannon. Pullings. Oh, Mr. Pullings again. Nice to see you. Yeah, at least his tattoos, well, a certain amount of his tattoos are not extremely dark inked. And 
and his opponents first. Down the aisle, Dr. Frank. So is Dr. Frank from Transylvania, or is he just channeling his inner Dr. Frankenstein? You know what, to be honest, he kind of looks like James Rumpf. <laughs> oh, Rolf, Wolf, whatever his name is, I always get it confused. Suddenly to check it off. French. Introducing next. Hunter Joe. Old fuchsia tattoo. Oh, this guy has a lot of swagger to him. So, oh, look at that flippy stuff. Like him and um, Crimson Giant had the same barber. <laughs> ah, triple threat elimination rules. Yeah. Dr. Dr. Frank, Frank are the oldest of the three. Yeah, Not I was just about to say that about his um attire he's wearing. He isn't wearing knee pads. Hmm, good point. I'm gonna have to fix that. It's very old school of him. Look at that gut buster. with the reversal there. Oh no, he's in no man's land. I'm going superplex here. No, oh, and down goes Frank. Planted him. High impact maneuver. Well, it's elimination style, so I got to wonder if the the two new bloods are going to try to go after uh, Dr. Frank, but as I say that, Pullings hits the spinning neck breaker on Jones. Winner of this match will take on, well, excuse me, the winner of this match gets to go to the next match, which is the Big Ass Rookie Qualifier. That's an interesting name. The Big Ass Rookie Qualifier then gets you the eighth spot, which allows you to take on Grizzly Joe later on tonight. Hmm. Or, well, it's usually, it's called the Bark, B-A-R-Q. Yeah, Ooh. so it has bite to it. Root beer reference. Oh, <laughs> yes, good point. <laughs> no, 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 that's just the women. I, 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 I mean, uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Dr. Frank! No! Face first. Yeah, waist lock takeover. A waist lock takedown, excuse me. Very effective amateur wrestling maneuver. Oh, double team. Woo! 
Yeah, stereo super case there. Grant has squeezed the juice Back out control. of the skull. Nice move there by Frank. It's the infamous slingshot suplex. Now they are working over, Hunter. Oh, look at that. What a heel. Hunter had enough of that shit. Yeah, apparently so. And Spaz ref is like, I'll allow it. Well, it's no DQ's triple threat match. Oh, okay. It's like they say anyone can do a wrestling leg sweep. Apparently in this game, anyone can do a slingshot suplex. Oh, more double team maneuver. Oof! Ooh! Set up the enziguri there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are working over a poor hunter. The winner of this match gets to go against gets to go into the ten man big ass rookie qualifier, which they get to go and take on Grizzly Joe. And of course you cannot be a champion until you can beat a bear. So basically that's that's what they're setting themselves up for. Man, yeah, Zangief can beat a bear, a real man can beat a bear. You know who else is fighting a bear? Who? Stu Hart. Gene LaBelle. Arn Anderson, table wrestle bears. Oh, look at that. And what do they share in common? They are man's man. Yeah. I don't know. Steven just did, did. Steven did. And Daniel Bryan. That's right. Do you know who? Do, do you know? Do you know if Will Regal, William Regal wrestled a bear? He probably wrestled a bear. He probably wrestled two bears at once. Yeah, it's William Regal. He's done everything. And then some. What Daniel the heck is Bryan. this? She wants to go to sleep. No! Look a out! PKO out of nowhere. Shannon Paulings hits that RKO, and that's it. Down goes Hunter Jones. But now Frank, maybe now with a chance. Oh, think of like a Boston Crab submission maneuver. Soon be no rope breaks though. Oh, he's way too strong anyway. Reversal there by Shannon Pullings. And just pull a, a leg submission out of your butt when you have been uh -oh. working over his lower body. He might body be setting all. him up for his finishing maneuver here. No. Or he might just want to chop the air for no reason. All he needs to do is put him, get him down, and keep him down. Ow. He'll try to hit his finishing maneuver, which is uh, something that you wouldn't expect him to do. Yeah, look at him just stomping on that left elbow. Going to the corner. Let's see, backhand. If I know anything Up, about reversal. Dr. Spin around, DDT. If I know anything about Dr. Frank, he should be able to work over the human anatomy just perfectly. Dissect you. Most likely. Oh, Pullins is taking a walk. He's going for steel steps. Dr. Frank ain't going to allow that. Oh, maybe yeah, he will. Yeah, he allowed it, all right. Oh, no, now the leg. Shannon Pullings. Oh, man. Better stay Sabu oh. thinks this is funny. What? Had the weed. Oh, he must have heard me. He laughed at me because he already know he smoked all of it. Damn you. Look out, leg drop. <coughs> Excuse me. Is he going Hogan? He going Hogan? Hogan? No. It isn't 1985. Nobody wins with leg drops anymore. No, oh, there's the guillotine. Looks like somebody went for a rough ride. Sonic screwdriver, cover one, kick out. <laughs> I will not sell that move, sir. Now, Dr. Frank is not happy about that. Oh, beautiful snap suplex. Oh, no! Filthy maneuver there. What a heel. Indeed. But Dr. Frank reverses it. Big block! Big drop kick to the back. Yes. 
Stop it on the arm, trying to do, screw up the, the elbow. Yeah, now Dr. Uh, Frank and her trying to do a little retaliation here. Or he's just going to run around with a chair. Uh, he's he's baiting the man. And Dr. What, Frank puts wait, the chair what? in. He's like, here, go get it. And, oh, no! Not out there! On that little thin padding that protects you from the concrete floor. Ouch. In a club against a face for added measure. You know, I'm going to run around. Yeah, I'm going to go the long way. Oh, he looks like he's groggy on his feet. Right, that last shot, Wolf pulling up. Elbow to the face. Ground control. Oh, watch the chair! Good oh, God oh. Almighty! Ooh, a snap belly to back suplex in his head. Hit that seat portion of the chair. Might do it. Cover one. Kick out. Yeah, I'm not going to sell any of your moves. It's a jawbreaker. Frank thinks he's got him. Kick out. Yeah, he's not going to go over with a jawbreaker. Ah, wow, beautiful exploder suplex. No, oh, huge kick Ooh. to the head. Standing sag kick to the left, left temple. Going up top. Ooh, he got up there quick. Moon salt. Ooh, excellent. Hit the moon salt. One, two, three. It's over. Oh, by Shannon Pollings. I give him a nine point five for that new moon salt. Shane Pullings pulls out the victory. So Red that says he's four out of ten. on to fight Grizzly Joe now. And uh, no, no, he's going to be in the big ass rookie qualifier in just a moment here. Oh, okay. We have so many rookies because everybody signed up. So many people signed up. So uh, this is what we uh, this is what we got. I'll be back momentarily. No problem. All right. This contest is a 10 man big ass rookie qualifier using Royal Rumble rules. That means that the competitors must be propelled over the rope and both feet must touch the floor. That's right. I pay attention. Let's meet the um, let's meet the participant who drew number one and number two. And remember, since it's a ten man, anybody can win from any position. Let's meet the first participant. And suddenly different arena. From the land of the rising sun. Maxima Hayabusa! You gotta watch out for that pyro. It came awfully close. I know that hair got to be flammable. I 
apparently Hayabusa loves the dubstep music. I swear he stole that little thing on his forehead from a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. <laughs> introducing his opponent. Introducing the manager number two. Introducing his opponent. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake, huh? I wonder if he lives by the model of don't trust anyone. He does live by the model of I will strike. Okay then. He looks like a certain person without the mustache and goatee. And when I mean by that certain person, I mean Will Sasso. <laughs> Let's go. Hayabusa and Rattlesnake are the are the first two. Numbers three, four, five, six will uh, join them momentarily. Oh, Rattlesnake's trying to go for the elimination already. Yeah, Rattlesnake's already trying to get this done. He wants to move on. He wants to go take on Joe. Now nah, Hayabusa held on too tightly. Ooh, look at that springboard across the body. Entrance number three, Capri Swift. Rattlesnake to the apron, but not eliminated. He rolled back in. Oh, Hayabusa is trying to eliminate him again. I mean, trying to dispose of him, but not Cap any poses. Capri Swift, the brother of Chronic Swift, the MUW television champion. Oh, I should have known from the hair. Oh, hi there, frame droppage. Yeah, it's not as bad as it was like a month ago. Yeah, now at least it just kind of like stops a little bit and then it comes back gradually. Yes. It'll like slow down. It won't stop altogether. Rattlesnake still working on Hayabusa. Who's next? Number four. And it's Jackson Destruction. Interesting name. Apparently, Rattlesnake is not going to help Swift eliminate Hayabusa. No, because he wants to do it himself. Mm hmm. Jackson Destruction taking his sweet time getting into the ring. Yeah, I don't Swift know if he's going to go right out. after Swift or not, and uh, now he does. He was a little hesitant about it. Mm. Oh, I rate. Now already quickly jacks of destruction quick to work. Rattlesnake on the apron. Yeah, Rattlesnake's on the outside, not looking good. Meanwhile, Capri Ooh. Swift is in trouble, and he fights out of it. No one will be eliminated tonight. Right hand, and again, Destruction's got Swift on the court on the uh, the ropes here. Waiting for entrance number five at this point. Who is it? And it's Michael Tarpin. This weirdo. This big ass weirdo. 
Comes out um. to rock music. Comes out to rock music. Then he has this big, uh, and then he comes out like Kane, but with a um, he comes out like Kane, but with a druid oh, well, rattlesnake's uniform been eliminated. out. Goodbye, rattlesnake, as he's gone, and, uh, a druid uniform, and then all of a sudden, he just comes out and he's just wearing these generic fucking get up. Oh, someone's feeling rather cursive tonight. That gives me an opening. But Michael Tarpin is a big boy, don't get me wrong. Seven yeah, feet big. tall. Ooh. Here's number six. And it's Kurt Wagner. Kurt Wagner? Nightcrawler? Is he gonna go bounce on us? You can't deny Nightcrawler's got anything for us tonight. Abusa out on his feet. I rake by Jackson Destruction. Michael Tarpin, see you later. Yeah, bye. He got eliminated quickly. It wasn't even a struggle. Oh, that big kick. That's going to be a big drop for Tarpin. Ooh, we just hit him with like a nail in the coffin type maneuver. And here comes Russell Beach. <laughs> he. Taboo's out on his feet again. Another tilt the world backbreaker for his troubles. Pardon me, one of the greatest people on earth have, has entered the chat room. Wait, what? One of the greatest people in the world have just entered the chat room. Oh. Yourself or Keo? Keo. Oh. Just making sure you might be that much of an egoist. Down the goes... Hello? Wait, what? Impromptu phone call. Yes, give me a second, I'll bring you later. Hey, it's that Brazilian guy. Oh no, it's Jake. All right. Yeah, all right is right. RJ okay. enters the ring. Uh, who is now gone? Rattlesnake is gone. No, we got six men in the ring now. What is, is this FTR? Yes. This is the big ass rookie qualifier. You didn't miss much at all. Actually, you missed barely, basically nothing. Is this a pay per view? No. The, 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 uh, Alright, anyways. This is the big ass rookie qualifier. Is that what we're calling it now? The big ass rookie qualifier? Well, yeah, it's got ten people in it, yes. We, we couldn't come up with a more formal name, sir? No, I, fuck, fuck, fuck formal, Jesus. All right, so officially this shall be forever known as the big ass rookie qualifier doohickey. Deal with it. Do. Somebody I'm actually happy to see. That's good. There we go. Back control by that. Russell Beach, and uh, sure so enough, he's going exactly after RJ. Work? What's that? How exactly does this work? The winner of this match takes on Grizzly Joe. Two eliminations. Oh, RJ and Capri Swift are both out. Get Go on. The winner of this match will get, take the eighth spot. Which, by the way, the eighth spot currently belongs to Jackson Destruction, who's in the ring currently. So, if he can successfully defend his spot, that that would be something of just amazement. Nature. So, the winner of this match takes on Grizzly Joe. Are we on two or the main channel? We're on two because we're going to be up, we're going to be on for a long ass time. Oh, one of, it's one of those nights? It's, it's, it's this one, this one's going to be longer than the draft show tonight. I'm just letting you know right now. How long was the draft show? Six hours. Good. This one's going to probably be pushing like seven or eight, but I'm not going to do the whole thing in one night. Wait Look a out! Can you See you later, Kurt Wagner! Please? Hmm? Can you send me the file, please? Yeah, give me one second. I'm updating shit. Unless you can just... Can I update? Give... You know what? Let me let me just do this real quick. 
Let me just, um... Hold on. Hi, Keo. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, one guy. Hey, I Keo. This stress relief right now. No, nah, you're here with us. We're good to go, man. Yeah, I've been ready to tackle you earlier, Sean. Oh. Hmm, you better be a glomp oh, tackle. Oh, poor thing. Got kick. Look out, spinning neck for oh, God. You oh, know, I was working on my Xbox out. ambassador job today for Xbox. Oh, what? And hey, mm -hmm. I got dark match, by the way. Delayed, but dark match. But, uh, anyways, yeah. So, I had somebody ask me uh, how they turn on the Xbox. Hmm. And it was, it was pretty bad, because after walking them through step by step how to turn on the Xbox, they realized it wasn't plugged in, and they wanted oh, to know how to plug it in. This person wasn't that smart. I can see. Zach Hadley behold, is your 10th entrance. You can't fix behold. stupid. And lo and behold, it turned out to be a 35-year-old man. You wow. can't fix stupid! <laughs> so, make of that what you will. Yeah, the comment drop by Hadley. Button too. Ah, too many Everybody voices at the same Russell time. Beach is be fairly new. It's all, its just all the first round matchups, right, Sean? Yeah, which is then always I'm... a lot, and then we also have three title matches on top of it. What? We have three title matches tonight because we didn't do them during AON because. Oh just... right, yeah, we do, don't we? Oh, we my have God. the cruiserweight, the women's, and the tag. So we've got this. We got those matches times ten. Well, we have all the round one matches, and then some. And then, you know, the your your average your two qualifiers for the TV and uh, the TV internet international and. By the way, don't fret, ladies and gentlemen. There will be something replacing the AON series. Uh, well, anyway, we'll we'll see what's going to happen with that. But regardless. Um, well, it's not going to be the same. You'll see. It's not the same sort of thing, but it gives people who are eliminated from the tournaments the chance to fight for something still. So. Oh, really? Well, I guess that can't be bad. No, it, it's it, it. You'll like it. Trust me. It's it's Sean. It's right up your alley. Oh, Shannon Pullings hangs on. Guess you could say he pulled himself back in. Hadley eliminates Russell Beach. Is the guy who was still the eight spot still in here? And we're oh, down no. to the final two. It's Hadley and Destruction. These it's, two men yeah, had their very got first match while the against was each other. On other elimination. Sean, but it's like, uh, is it is it still the eight? Is it still the eight guy still in here? Yes, it's Jackson Destruction. Which one is he? The one with the long hair and the dark jeans. Thank you. The long hair doesn't do much for me. You long know hair that. and dark jeans. Well, yeah. Well, the other guy's got like a crew cut. Yes. Touche. Zach Hadley, who got the final entrant in this qualifier, the only, well, the thing that Shannon Pollings did do for himself is that he doesn't have to qualify himself anymore for this thing. Michael Tarpin, however, does. And Jackson Destruction eliminates Zach Hadley! Wow. How and the hell did Jackson pull that Destruction off? successfully Defends his spot. At what number did he come in? He came in at like number seven or something like that. No, oh, it well, was that's before that. He was like the fifth well, entrance. Well, it doesn't matter. It's just ten people. You can win from anywhere. Yeah, I've but seen people. Still, win. I mean, I've seen somebody win from number it, one. If he had done it from the number one spot, then this would be a lot more impressive. Well, the fact that Could've, he was in a me he was in a melee and he was still able to come out with the win. That's very still impressive indeed for Mr. No, Destruction. It's impressive. Don't get me wrong, Sean. Like, it's impressive. And by the way, you, you haven't noticed, ladies and gentlemen, this treatment I'm getting is working. Is, what? Yeah, well, I'm not impressed, so that's a good start. I'm pissed off, but I'm not depressed. Yeah, I would say better to be pissed off than pissed off. Uh, <laughs> I can help you with both of those situations. I love how apparently Sean we went back in time. Hell yeah, 1999 and his yeah. party it up. Somebody put on the Prince album. 99. The fuck. 
All I have to say is braided chin hair. Is that the file? Good lord. Taking a trip back to 1999, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah, Rob Thomas and Carlos Santana in this bitch. All I have to Thumbs up if you remember this song. I remember this song. This came out in 99. Oh my god, it's Ricky Martin. Bullshit. Did this really come out in 99? Yeah, Ricky Martin's been around forever. Britney Spears. <laughs> she looks uh, so young in this video. Uh, oh, hi, Britney Spears. Get out the way, I'm gonna wank. She looks actually relatively hot in a schoolgirl uniform. Relatively. She was smoking back then. Yeah, but then it all just went down. Because that's K Fed got a hold of that pussy and fucked it all up. Did this come no, out? He, did one, he did one Super Bowl commercial and then he disappeared from the face of the earth. Who? Kevin Federline? Yeah. Hell Who yeah, Christina Aguilera. I'm gonna let this play through because I want to. Car Aaron Carter and Mandy Moore. No, nope. that's what it. The hell? Well, were they still around in '99? Dude, that's they were. That's when they were them in '99. Yeah. Oh, screw that place of men's sink, damn it! Backstreet Boys. That place of men's sink. I slept the shit. Hey! Up. Ah, Smash Mouth. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, you next. They're you one know. hit. Sma Smash Mouth, Smash Mouth, who was like a, who was like a, like a timid version of POD, basically. Yes. Hey! All right, this is a round one match God, in the MUW thing. Rookies FTR Women's Division. That would have been the number five is playing. Cassandra. A little bit of Jessica. Here I am. Combo number five. Hey! This is how we do it. Is that Sugar Ray? Yes. Oh, I heard the album come out for some fucking reason. Whatever happened to him? I think he's on. Hey, DLC! DLC, <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> that album came out in 99. Who came out of that group successfully? No one. Well, they all were successful when they and were. And her together. opponent. What the hell? Oh, this music. From San Diego, California, Trace Memory. For some reason, I like this woman. This was a J Lo song. I can't tell, the audio's all over the place. Oh! Hell yeah, I feel like making love now. Five bucks, anybody knows that that is. That's you know who is. that is, dude? It's Whitney Houston. Yup. How you gonna ask a black man, dude? What the fuck's your <laughs> problem? As Tommy Spud, Tommy Spud would have actually this, that like was a Jennifer Lopez song. What? I'll go back to it. This was a this was Jennifer Lopez. Hang on. That's TLC. This is Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, that's J Lo. Yes. That's how she first started. Like Cassandra to begin thinking. Now Cassandra. Here's an interesting thing. Cassandra beat Sarah Snow in the first round last month. When Sarah Alex Snow, by the, Sarah Snow, by the way, you went on to win the title. The only reason Sarah Snow went on to win the title is because Cassandra actually beat Sarah Snow, but she used an illegal move which disqualified her from the tournament. Was this song '99? Really? 
I don't think so. That is 1997. I know that for a fact. What? That's 1997. That's I know that one. No, these are all 99. God, I'm having How flashbacks do you know? when I was 14. Do you know how much I masturbated back then and just random shit? Well, rather when the Goo Goo Dolls were young. They're young? Or they were? Neckbreaker! Uh, Trace Memory not looking too good in her first match. Oh, Cassandra going with the stomps. <laughs> I can't and concentrate on anything. I'm just going to be sitting back and chilling. Whatever happened to this guy? I don't worry about nothing. It's fine. Oh, Trace Memory working on that. The arm bar here. Locked in, but reversed. Uh, Sean, you know this song? Hmm? That's, that, that's that smooth shit right there. I know I that hippie music. Hell yeah, I ain't heard Lint in a long ass turn. The hey, sad thing is, I got oh, that album. Another Sugar Ray song. Quickly, hide the cocaine from Mark McGrath. Cassandra, for someone who looks the way she looks, she is a destructive woman. Wait a minute, did I just get Sean to sing along with a song live on cast? Mission accomplished. What, I haven't done that some before? Contemporary no, mission accomplished. Oh, my God, this is a great song. Uh -oh. Stop. Cassandra, she's going for it here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Oh, Canadian backbreaker. Wow, look at that. Never got flipped on the table. This is a fucked up video. It's fucked up now, but when you see it by yourself, you're gonna whack to it. Cassandra, Don't remember this one. Or she was gonna. I thought she may have was trying to go springboard, but looks like that wasn't the case. Uh, I remember this song. You know who it is, Sean? Listen. What? Let me listen. That's all you got. I didn't know that. I remember this song. Cover by Cassandra. This should probably. No, it's not done yet. Only one for me. Look out! Trace hangs on. No, oh, not that time. I don't know who these guys are. 98 degrees? Drew Hill, bro. Oh, I know who he is. <laughs> this was his hit song, his first song. Ricky Martin? What? No, Is it's Enrique Martin? Iglesias. Enrique Iglesias. Yes. This That's is J-Lo. This was the first real dance song I liked. Yeah, that was a real good dance song, just everybody. Oh my god! Decisive. What is this? Cross well, body was springboard like by Cassandra! My goodness! Oh, you know who this is? Oh. I'm just curious if you know. Oh, oh, jeez, that's, um... Ooh. You know who this is? <laughs> you don't know who this is, Dixie Chicks? Dixie Chicks? You do know who that is, right? God, she was hot. Yeah, Shania Twain was smoking back then. Oh, Shania Twain. You know who this one is? Madonna. She just played the halftime show. 
Madonna. That's Madonna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder who that is. You know, it's funny that she had a song named this, and that she went bizarre. Oh no! This is not the move that got her disqualified. This is a this is a modified version of it. The Canadian backbreaker, probably as a, as effective. Cassandra deservingly picks up the W. Was this Whitney Houston? Yeah, that's the remix version. I did not know this. Uh oh. Points of shock and guess who this is. Destiny's Child. That is Destiny's Child. This is Destiny, yes, this one. The other one I have no fucking clue. I think the other one was Dudley. Oh god, not that song. You know this song? I know the song, but I don't know who performed it. I don't even remember this song. Because it was just for white boy deuce music. Mariah Carey. Ah, oh, there you go. Fucking Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful or you'll shove your daughter that, down this throat. That, 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 or you meet Jim West. Ah! Oh. oh my oh god. god. It's Rookie Shady. Slim Shady. <laughs> my name is. What? Look at this, Shady. My name is. My name is. Who? My name is. Oh, uh, 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 There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's um, uh, yeah, Lady Kravitz. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nostalgia yeah. night, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Apparently. That's a good fucking song, dude. Uh oh. Nah. Fucking oh, really? chili peppers. Yes! I didn't even call that. Anyway, this next contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is round one action in the FTR division. Introducing first, Angus and uh, Daniel. You know who this is? Huh? Who is this? Better day. I've never even heard of these guys. Must have been another one hit wonder. Fucking white for me. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what I miss? I'm trying to convert me to the Caucasian persuasion. You know, what the the most of this this? you know what this most the most of this music was about? Why? Jesus! It was not. It sounds like it. And introducing his opponent. Here you go. Bonus points if anybody knows the name of this song or band. Introducing his opponent, Robert Isaac 
Charles Hunt! Sweet Jesus, why'd they put all the crappy songs at the end? I used to wink to that music with them. Oh, there you go. I never winked to Sarah McLaughlin. Isn't that like. There you go, that's the end. Welcome to Nostalgia Night, ladies and gentlemen. Jake, how about this? I got something to satisfy you. Why? Why don't you give me two songs? Don't, don't, don't play them. I'll play them. You give me two songs from the 90s, okay? And I will replace the theme songs of the of match number I feel like you should just do that for everybody's match night. number no 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 I can only no, it should be throwback match back number night. no 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 shh, shh. match number 12 the, the co-main event of the evening I will replace the two songs of the two competitors with salt with the two songs that you picked from the 90s and they must be uh they cannot be songs by women ugh sexist what That's fun. <laughs> no male ever. I didn't say that they couldn't. I didn't say that they couldn't be boy bands. I didn't say the song didn't have to be by a boy band. I could have went that route. Okay. Yep, on my way down. Yeah. Okay, I said that three times. All right. Pick a couple songs, place it in the chat, and I'll uh, take and I'll uh, take care of that for you. I feel later. like we need to do that for a couple minutes, Sean. It really should be nostalgia nights since we're gonna be here for eight hours. I'm not going to stay here for eight hours. I'm here until maybe like 1 a.m. And then That's I'm going to stop. Nostalgia night. Nostalgia night. Like, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do mayhem first. Well, whatever you do, I will just keep playing random old music in the background. Try to, just, just try to keep it a little low. I will. Be right back. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, this is our first round matchup in the FTR division. Moving right along, we're match we're through match number five of thirteen in FTR. There's fourteen in Mayhem. That's our target. We're we're targeting to try to get through Mayhem. If we can if we can get through Mayhem before a certain time, then I will start doing anarchy. Let's just say uh Let's just say if we get Mayhem done by eleven o'clock, which is impossible. Like, actually, I'll tell you what, we're not, we're gonna, just at the pace of, usual, uh, the your basic pace, saying that a, a, an hour, usually five matches take an hour, excuse me, and there's two, t and there's two title matches on Anarchy, um, what we'll do is, we'll do Anarchy tomorrow. Mayhem we're going to do tonight because right now this first this first the FTR is going to take two and a half hours and Mayhem is going to probably take another like two and a two and like three quarters hours. Working on the arm. So, that's the plan right now. Um, what's what we're going to do? Um, am I? Okay. So, FTR and Mayhem are going to be tonight. Um, and whenever we wrap up, we wrap up. Because Anarchy has 15 matches, including two championship matches. Um, and by that, by those calculations, saying that every five matches is an hour, and I think we're about to get a submission win here. And there you go. 
Angus Daniel chokes out Rich. Money for nothing. And the chokes for free. Thanks to Jake, while I was brushing my teeth, I had creeds with arms wide open stuck in my head, so fuck you for that. <laughs> So Angus Daniel moves on to round number two. Textbook win for him. God damn it, I can't get Creed stuck out of my head. Get it out! God staff, damn you. Oh hey, matches. What? Oh, hey, matches. What matches? These matches. Ah. Mm-hmm. What the hell was Angus doing on the FTR show anyway? He's on because he's a part of the FTR division. Wait, what? He's a part of the FTR division. Yeah, like, I'm going to click that link, Mark. You can go sit on a fucking meet. Spin, whatever meme is, shit. Damn it. Scott Staff. Whimsical music and ocean backgrounds spreading your arms on rocks and shit. I am so dispersed right now. I'm all befuddled in my. Jim is a rough. So we're going to try to do uh, Anarchy tomorrow, like, 6, 15, 6, 30-ish. I'm going to try to get that done as quickly as possible, even though it's going to take until, like, 9 to do it. I think I burnt a hole in my shorts. I was so petrified by that music overload. Oh, boy. This contest is set for one fall and is round one action in the FTR Rookies Division. Even though these guys are... I would probably... They're reducing first, being accompanied to the ring by the FTR Women's Champion, Sarah Snow. Avalanche! I can't get mediocre Caucasian late 90s pop music out of my head now, damn it. Oh. Oh. oh, it's this guy. He kind of looks like um, Snow from Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> That's funny you say that. I'm pretty sure you said that sarcastically. Indeed. Ah. And his opponent. Uh oh. From Berlin, Germany. Franz Kaiser. Guten Tag, mein Fräulein. Apparently, he went to the same barber that John Chaos went to. How did Jake, did he pass out from music overload? No, he had to go somewhere. Oh shit, I can actually concentrate on commentating? Yes. Oh my god. So, Franz Kaiser against Avalanche. Well, Kaiser's kind of been on the uh, on outside looking in when it comes to all the... Uh, when it comes to the rankings and such like that. Uh, this is 
Franz Kaiser, who is taking on Avalanche, who's a fifth in the rookies division, as Kaiser is seventh. And Avalanche from Pinching a style, sidewalk slam breaker. now goes to the backbreaker. Yeah. Pendulum style. And down on that, Gutbuster. Gutbuster. Yeah. And Franz Kaiser right now needs to try to settle things down here and try to gain control. Oh, swing side suplex. Huh. Well, here we go. Avalanche destroying property. Oh, it's just the top layer. Uh oh. Oh, there goes that laptop again. Avalanche going here. There goes the water bottle. DDT down ah. through the table. Due to time constraints, we've actually been able to shorten FTR by one match. Wait, what? Don't worry. Time constraints? What is this? Halloween Havoc 1998? We'll see you next week for Thunder! <clears throat> mm -hmm. Anyway. Avalanche running all around in complete control of this match. Gil, don't even get me started. Right hand. Uh-oh, superplex time. Kaiser hits it. Mm, stiff. Mm, Release belly to belly. belly, to belly. Yeah. 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 Elbow drop. I don't know if Kaiser is doing it for the children. Oh, oh boy. Regal stretch. Avalanche is in trouble. And distracts him. Sarah Snow distracts the ref. No, it's yeah, the match that didn't mean anything towards tournaments or nothing. Mmm, huge knee crusher to the, to the, to the head. Of Avalanche. Yeah, the face is on the Oh head. my gosh. That was like a 110th Street Slam. Yeah, well, I think Jeez, I was a 110th Street Booker Slam. T. Cover. That's it. France Kaiser does it. With ease. So Franz Kaiser got knocked around and then came back and took it from Avalanche. So Franz I'm Kaiser wins a rare round one match. I'm still all besmirched from Jake's appearance. And how random that was. We're just talking about 1999 and then songs. Yeah, that's what he does. At least he's in a good move. I didn't want to have me a Moby Mellow around here. Triple H is coming out to bury France Kaiser. He's here to bury everyone. This next contest is set for one fall. And it is a round one action in the FTR division. Shane 
She um uh, got she basically dropped to Cassandra. Oh, that's not nice. You're in our stream and everything, but you're not listening to us. How dare you? She's with her brother doing her show. Oh. Well, then that's understandable, as long as he's not trying to be rude. Introducing first, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Lucian Vaughn. I don't know if he's relevant to Kevin. His face is awfully greasy. Music is very angry. And his opponent. Oh boy. Making his second appearance tonight. Butcher Pete. This homicidal maniac incarnate. And if he hey, let me Tim... ask you a question. What do you think New Jack thinks of this? Um, gentlemen laugh? New Jack, the only man I know that can get borrowed for an arena just because he didn't get his sprite. <laughs> Look at him. You know he's just tripping all the balls. Fucking I don't know bullshit. what he on. Oh, Shiki Baby doesn't approve. <laughs> Damn. And apparently CM Punk is disappointed. Oh, ah! I used to wear basketball jerseys with sandals. Oh, it's, ah, Alex Sylvester, you no. Know. Subs. Oh, he's biting him. Now, all the memes. Meme overload, damn it. What else I got in here? Just because I need to try to keep myself occupied, occupied for the rest of the show anyway. Yeah, it's going hey, look, it's me. Yeah, you do look just like that motherfucker, though. He's just a younger, thicker virgin. Younger, thicker is very much a key word. <laughs> you got the exact same face. Butcher there. Pete looks like he wants to end this already. Yeah, Lucian Thorne is just hanging out. Oh my god! Ooh. He just stole his finisher. That was one nasty standing side kick. Hey, somebody just jumped. Yes. It makes all the amount of sense knowing who created this Butcher Pete guy. Well, who influenced this Butcher Pete guy? 
It works! It works perfectly! Well, for that split second, it did. There goes in sync again. Oh, no, it's not. All trophy sign. It works! It works perfectly! <laughs> like, oh, I, I'm finally getting good as a wrestler. I'm gone. You may. Yeah, Eve does have that Stephanie McMahon jaw strong Dudley do right chin going on. Yes, he does. Wait, what? Random Jake. Yes, he does. Suddenly Jake. Pick a year, Doom, anywhere from nineteen seventy to nineteen ninety nine. Damn, that's a long time period, but um I'll go with nineteen eighty three. Good year for music, sir. Guess I'll go drink some water while Jake's playing with himself. Yep. The hell? Round one action, FTR Women's Division. Introducing first, Candy Lynn. <laughs> God, 80s music. This was 83? Is that what the singer of Journey looks like? Sean, I will give you $5 if you know who this is. Sean. What? You know who that is? No clue. They was David Bowie. Cool. you. Very good. Dude, I have the whole album. <laughs> Okay, if you get this wrong, I will smack you. I can't hear it. Did you not know who that was? I didn't hear it. Okay, let me go back. I just came back. Do you know who that is? Is that you? No. It's hungry like the wolf! Oh, it's fucking oh, Durant, uh, Durant. 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 Oh, God. And introducing her opponent, Candy! The lovely Candy. I just realized this. It's Candy versus Candy. Yep. Oh, God. I just oh, thought Candy that. Overload! Where's Aaron Carter when you need him? I know, right? Hey, uh, that could be arranged. Uh, oh no. Uh, you opened up that one on yourselves. I did. You're right. That I wasn't even thinking that until you said something. But yeah. nevertheless, here he is, the boy wonder. <laughs> Do you know he still performs and stuff? Yes, but he's not nearly as good. No king. Hey, Justin. Hey, 
say it's Aaron. I can't come out tonight. What the fuck Girl. is fucking music? No, no, her name is Candy. Her name is Candy. Real cute. I gotta go see ya. <laughs> nah, this, you know what? This song is fitting for this, though, so that's okay. She got everything that I desire. The sun on fire. Everybody now. Take it, Sean. I want candy. Oh, very good. So which candy do you want, Sean? Candy. <laughs> girl in town. You're the girl with the dark So sweet you make my mouth water. Does anybody else realize how perverted this song is? Dude, the kid was fucking like 10 when he made it. I understand, I but bet still. I you the one that wrote it, though. Can you say Justin Bieber before Justin Bieber? Yeah, probably. He, he wouldn't even half as known as Bieber is, though. Only difference was some of his songs weren't that bad. And we have a submission. Candy Lynn makes Candy Tap. Wait, what? Another job. That was very quick. Candy Lynn ex continues to shine. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did I find this? I don't know. You should shut it off. No, it's it's a funny. It's Feller music. This was an actual song? It'd help, I know. And it's and kids sing it. Yes. Yeah. Look, it gets worse. I am disturbed. Listen to this. No, this was an actual hit from the 90s. That wasn't no fucking hit. It was. <laughs> it made ain't it no hit in my neighborhood, I know that. That Listen shit, play that it. shit around here, you get shot. It made it up to number five on the Billboard Top 100. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I get worse though. Alright, I need... The date that this song was released is the date that music just went to shit. Yep. This is Justin Bieber's theme song. Alright, that works. That was good. This, this is the worst part of the song. Why and introducing his opponent to send that to from the Redwood Forest, Grizzly Joe. Oh, it, it didn't got all manly all of a sudden. And his theme song's not playing. Why? Grizzly Joe does not appreciate coming out to this. Look, I got a theme song for him. Problem solved. No, it didn't need to be manly. <laughs> This is, this 
this is what? what? <laughs> How did that not get like banned off the radio? How did it not get banned off of Twist TV? You know what? For songs like that, I blame little children and their bad taste. I bet you all the children that was eight, nine, and ten years old that loved that song back then now look back at their days and just reflect that they was total shitheads. That would all right. Be so Shannon Pullings uh, won his way to doing this. Oh, wait. This is really reflecting on my black and Mexican heritage and uh That's incorrect. Yeah. Shannon Pullings uh because I said Shannon Pullings won the first qualifier. He didn't win the Uh I, 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 I fixed it, hold on. I, I, what? I, I think I'm gonna crack. What? Just this music is just Affecting my soul. Why is it affecting your soul? Um, I got the Temptations and Ford Tops and Frankie Beverly and Mays in my heart, and then this happened. It's like the fuck. Oh my Jimmy's. Um, so, I apologize for your ruffled jimmies. Alright, this next contest is, uh, well, this is, again, set for one fall, round one of F, uh, the rookies division. Because I screwed up the order, we'll go right into the action. We know that. Grizzly Joe's not supposed to be facing Shannon Pullings. He's supposed to be facing Jackson Destruction. You fine folks in the chat are privileged not to see what Jake is putting in the Skype chat right now. I am just telling you that is what Wikipedia has to say about the song. Yeah, I my my um soul is shaking to its foundation right now. I just, I I you know what? Eighties music. Ah! Hey. I can't tell if it's not that ugly as something to me. Fuck what, this was 83? And now I feel like playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Wait, that was a black guy? Yeah, he's Caribbean. Or Jamaican. Oh, huh? I always thought he was white. No. <laughs> huh. I guess he's a... Hiya. You thought that guy was white, really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. All right, this is this is channel. This is helping me. I was just minority raised from that fail of music. I was about to go commit a hate crime. Wait a minute, is that a dude? Grizzly Joe just picks up and throws Jackson Destruction halfway across the ring. Time out. Is that a dude or a chick? Boy George is a dude. Yeah, Boy George is a dude. But he looks like a chick. Yep. He was the there first. You go. He was channeling his inner David Bowie, damn it. Jackson Destruction fights out of it. 
Anybody else notice that a young Billy Joel looks a lot like a uh, young Bruce Springsteen? Cool. Who gives a fuck what you're looking on? Man, fuck your shit. Big kick to the head. Reversed by Joe. Yeah, that's that sexy shit. That's all the folks. Whoa, here she goes. Oh, yeah, get in the boat. Look it out. Oh, my God. Big slam. She's a maniac. Mission accomplished. If I can get shot today at least one song for every year we play, I will consider it a success. Okay, now you can throw it off now. Spin Neckbreaker by Jackson Destruction. Jennifer Beals, God damn it, oh God. This is a German song. Turn it around. Oh my God. Oh, oh, no, he calls that ultimate destruction. Oh God, freaking uh, Cindy Lauper. What? That's Cindy Lauper. I'm pretty sure that's Cindy Lauper. That's Laura Bringen. Oh. Well, I don't care. I don't. He's Hell yeah. Calling Texas a damn match, not listening to me. Please tell me you know this song. Yeah, yeah so it's come on, Eileen. God, the clothes were so bad back then. That was some shit back then, don't hate on it. Oh, Joe, not impressed. There you go, Sean. Oh, I used to step a lot. Yeah, but that's a music video I can step to. Yeah. Jackson of destruction. He's going up. Now he's not. Hey, it's Jeff for Jets theme song. What? Jeff for Jets theme song. Yeah, oh, there you go. At least you could tie it into the damn cash for lunch. There you go. Right foot. Yeah, what a feeling. Oh, the feeling. Oh, another <laughs> big right foot. Well, That's a destruction looking good in this that match. Music that was on earlier. That ugly song fucks me up in the head. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. somebody had the white women from Richard Gere. By the way, oh, we are counting down here to the best one. This is number five coming up. This is actually a very good Jackson song. Jackson Destruction, sit out! Yeah, like a fucking hero maneuver right here. Hey, I love back on the chinging. Whoa, whoa! Another tilt to world backbreaker. There you go, Chuck. Hell yeah, that song is shit. Back right control. There. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Jackson Destruction. Go for ultimate destruction. Oh no. You can't be a champion until you beat a bear. Well, Jackson Destruction has gotten himself halfway there. Nice. Grizzly Joe falls to Jackson Destruction. That's an old lovey dubby shit. Oh god. Now that's Cindy Lauper right here. This is Cindy Lauper. So Jackson Destruction is gonna be facing, uh. Man, what if I hear that I girl? Think I think Lightning Man. What if I hear that song? I just want to No, he's gonna be facing Lee Xavier Lee. Blake Hello. next Hello. week. Oh shit, it's the police! It's the fucking police. Get down. Number one song of 1983. Yeah, that makes sense. See, now that's the, now the police is something that black folks like. Not the, not the actual police, I'm talking about the band. 
Alright, shots, it's Doom pick 1983. Pick a year from 1980 to 1999. 1997. 97? Ooh. Oh, God. I was in kindergarten that year. Alright. He was getting diddled that year, too. Here we go. <laughs> really? Jackie Earl Ray took you to his dead. This is just the intro. There you go. That came out in 97? Whenever you hear that song, that used to be on a boat listening to it. What? That's one of them type of songs that you should just be on a boat listening to. Right. This was a pretty good song. I remember these guys. Oh shit! Oh, I used to beat my dick to them bitches so bad. My babies right here. I love them. Who? Yeah, especially the Spice Girls. <laughs> oh, the Spice Girls. Don't you hate on the Spice Girls? I ain't shit. hating on no Spice Girls. Forty Spice the fuck. Spice Girls are the shit, man. Yeah. Hey, man. One of the Spice Girls married a soccer player. Okay. It's all good. And then one of them met Eddie Murphy's baby. Contest set for one fall is round one action in the FTR women's division. Introducing first Miss Miss Thing. That's Robin. Whoever the Robin is. Yes. That was Cheryl Crow? Yeah, Cheryl Crow. Back then, before she got cancer. When did Cheryl Crow grow from that to country music? Cheryl Crow was always alternative. Didn't see you hooked up with Lance Armstrong and shit went wild. And introducing her opponent, Maria Hill. That is one depressing sounding song. Damn, she got hips out of this world. Oh, coat bottle shape. Sarah McLachlan again? Yeah, like I said earlier, I refused to wink to her. Was she like the only person who made songs in the 90s? Alanis Morissette, too. What the fuck? Hell yeah! Oh, I actually like Boy Slim. No, it's Slim. actually the Chemical Brothers. Oh, Chemical Brothers? All that shit sounds the same back then. Good guess, though. Oh, man. Anybody know who this is? Not off the top of my head. Oh, wait a minute, that's Jewel. Yep. Point. Springboard there. Now back to Headlock. Reversal. Jewel, nice ass move. with that old fucked up tooth. Where's my girl Fiona Apple? I ain't heard no Fiona Apple at all. That sounds like some elevator music. Right hand. This song was better when I was young. Oh, look at this! Woo! Because it's just incoherent lyrics. There you go, Sean. <laughs> Put your arms around me, baby. <laughs> I just want to fly. Alright, this is Caucasian music, I can agree with. 
will change And today won't mean a thing I'm a bitch I'm a lover, I'm a sinner I'm a sinner, I'm a sinner This song was so fucking huge You talking about one hit wonder That's a one hit wonder Oh shit, Jamiroquai. It's that virtual of insanity on your ass. Jim, can you make your mic a bit louder somehow? No, it's up all the way. Because you sound far away. Does he sound far away for you too, Sean? That's good. Okay. Oh no, it's P. Diddy sampling all the music. I hope it's the Puff Daddy version of the song. The yep. best thing, piece of shit. <laughs> Credit to getting that, Sean. Good job. Yes, fucking R. Kelly. I believe I can touch the sky. The Perfect timing for the on, superplex. He's gonna, he's gonna piss on the jailbait handle. Spread my wings and fly away. <laughs> Fucking Space Jam. So cool. Dude, do you remember Space Jam? Of course. Can I play it or will it be in here? You just played the song to Space Jam. Oh, that was I Believe I Can Fly. What did you say, Sean? Remember Space Jam? Yes, it's coming up next. I mean the movie. Yes. Oh. Okay. Spin around! Head scissors by Maria Hale. I don't remember this song. Don't know who the hell that is. Oh no, it's Young Covered Usher. Covered by Maria Hale and a kick out of one. Young Usher, my no, god. Rook, it's Rookie Usher. Rookie Usher, good god. This is the man that you blame, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, people. This is the Usher that I hated. How did you know that was Madonna? Do you know that Madonna's from my hometown, don't you? you no, but still, you got Madonna just from that? Yeah, I know Madonna was born in Bay City where the Steiners was born, but she grew up in Pontiac. There you go, here's your song. Something else. Sean's got ten more songs to pick one to sing. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Do, 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 Dang it. Okay. Do, 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 <laughs> oh, Neckbreaker by Maria Hale. Just speed it up and it's the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's enough for you, Fantastic. Do you 
You have small arms but huge hands. Me? Yeah. Or is it just the perspective of the camera? It's the perspective of the camera. <laughs> it looked like he just had mitt hands, though. No, actually, it's the other way around. I have huge arms. And, well, I have. What did you hands. turn off the lights? What you about to masturbate or something? No, or did I always get a have glow the stick and go Steve Blackman on this or something. No, I always have my camera off. Ask Sean. Is Sean back yet, or is he still due to do doing? I'm here. Wait a minute, is Domino talking about Sean Bradley's bitch ass? What are you gonna be talking about, George Mira Sean next? Manuk Bowl maybe? Oh, that's loud. Oh, somebody turned down the reverb. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm yeah, that mellow bullshit. Isn't that the one dude that killed himself? Good job on subline there, Sean. I don't like the song, but for some reason. Didn't have to do Here we go. Himself. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want. Yeah. God really damn it, Spice yes. Girls. Yes. I want oh, oh my god. Oh. Really, really, what Miss, really Miss it just uh, did a, did a, I love you got to get with my that friend. power bomb on the outside right shit never ends. I don't care that this is Sean but it is very distracting uh no kidding what do you say I'm paying Word. attention to the matches, but I'm also paying attention to the music. I will give anybody a few points here if they figure out who this is. That's uh, I know that song. Oh, that's, that's uh, that's ah, uh, well, I know who it is. Is it? It's it's either No Doubt, yes, no doubt. or Gwen Stefani. It's no doubt. It's both. <laughs> well, I know, I know, well, I know Ben Stefani is, you know, with, was, you know, originally no it's, doubt, but I didn't know if no it doubt. was just... It's no doubt, yeah, it's no doubt. She's back to get the now, too, by the way. Nice. I think I had an album somewhere. The Wallflowers? Some band that never lasted long. Yeah, no doubt it was a good band, no chaos. Here we go, Sean. <laughs> Somebody had to get in this. Ah, I get, I knocked, get down. knocked down. Then I get up again. Everybody run the band down. down. Then I get knocked, knocked down. down. Then like I get up again. It's a so simple song. And the dance is funny as hell. You gotta keep me down. Kissing the night away. That's my favorite part of the song. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, two God. in a row. <laughs> my problem. This is like my anthem. It's not oh, my it's problem. You know what the song's called? No! 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 Don't you be hating on Aqua Mother? Come on, Barbie, let's go party. You can brush my. <laughs> this song gets the shit. Fuck yeah, 97. How the fuck is that number three? Yeah, those of hardcore will come out to that song. <laughs> Bobby, let's go party. Yes, Twist of Fate by Maria Hale could do it. Wait, this was Smash Mouth 2? Yeah, it was Smash Mouth. This oh, the first they, hit. They, 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 they had like two or three good songs. Yeah, they had a little bunch of them. This is their first hit, though. Anyway, where are this match? Maria Hale! <laughs> You might as well be walking on the sun. Oh, then suddenly Tony Braxton. And don't you just love the change of the mood? We're going to have it up the most dramatic song.
Okay, Doom, pick a year that's not either of the past two from 80 to 99. I'm gonna pick, uh, 1988. 88. I like how Sean's going closer to the newer and you're going closer to the older. These are the billboard number 25 through number 1 of 1988. He looks like he's about to like die from suffocation in this video. It better be some George Michaels on this list. Everybody can go to hell. Tad, since Tad, um, Tad uh, has requested 1985. After you're done with that, uh, his bitch ass like better calm down. You better realize Tad, we was Tad first requests 1985. I was going, I that. was gonna come to 1985, Tad. I'm an 85 baby, just like me. Okay, so you, Rasher, and I are 85 baby. All right, so 85 Wait, I was gonna next. say that later. Fuck your shit, Tad. You always ruining things. All right, 85 will be next. Anybody else that wants to hear anything, put it through here. We are still at 88, though. There you go. The dancing in this video is terrible. There you go. Ho ho ho! It's little Michael. Come on, Sean, sing it! I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Very good. See, when you hit them notes, you gotta get it all the way down to your groin. Hilarious! The fuck is that? Cocaine New Jack. Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, hey, is that white snake. Oh, no, Death Leopard. Oh, oh man. Man. Oh, you know what I think when I see when I hear this song now? What? You know what I think when I think when I hear this song now? What? Cat Dennings. Oh god. What the John, I think I might have found Tommy Wiseau's job before acting. This guy looks eerily similar to Tommy Wiseau. I'm going to show you a picture of this guy. the wild, wild west. Sean, 
tell me, does this, does this look at all to you, like, Tommy Wiseau? Just do me a favor and look at the screen, okay? Tommy Wiseau. God damn it. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau. I, I can't see it yet. Oh, hi, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Holy shit. What? Stop it. it. Tommy, why fucking so? Tommy, why so? The randomness on the music video makes sense, too. <laughs> he directed it. What did that say? The Boogie Club? <laughs> Look, there you go. It's Tommy Wiseau. Oh shit, he was gripping his calf muscle. It's, it's Tommy Wiseau. I, it, it, it has to be Tommy Wiseau. It's Tommy Wiseau mixed with Chris Isaac. Now that's White Snake, I think, right? Yeah, that's White Snake. Who is it? White Snake. Very good. So, I, I'm telling you something. Actually, don't hang on a minute. We need to get the name of that band. Okay, the Escape yeah. Club. Yeah, while well, that's playing, I need to go look that up. Like, that's... Oh God! That, that's oh, eerily similar. Oh, he's gonna investigate in it. Yeah, that's Tina. Oh shit! And into my car. <laughs> Sean, think of that one line to save my night. I remember this song was in License to Drive at the credits. Oh, by the oh, way, Sean, it's Thomas Dolby. the Escape Club is still touring. What? Are you what? Get your tickets while they last? They uh, they stopped in '92 and they got back together in 2009. Their website's still up. <laughs> oh shit! You better get your tickets, son. And yes, they are touring right now. I can see you at the concert just amongst all the cougars pinching booties. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't be hating on the cougars. That pussy's still uh -huh. tight. Apparently, <laughs> that, Sean, they say no, stupid. Right. I said cougars. Sean, the, they have lyrics, but they're only for the four songs that people know. Oh. Look, like, <laughs> this is our oh, poor people. Poor guys. They're old as crap. Well, oh, we that was not. Yep. Wait a minute, the Tommy. Look at this. Oh man. Sean, this is gonna sound mysterious, but the Tommy Wiseau guy is no longer in the picture on top of the page. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not. You mean he's had the same like look for the last twenty-five years? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. Possibly. Oh god. All right, on to the music. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's time for Trent Dope. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, 
music right here. I don't know if you'll call it soul music, but it so is interesting. This was a year of very sad songs. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ryan Mitchell going for the finish. For Lightning Man. Kick out too. Alright, now I was getting into the songs where I have no clue who the artist is. Uh, good lord, please play something that's not sad and depressing. It's not really sad as much as just fake love songs. Oh, sweet Jesus. Alright, I can deal with this. Yeah, this that shit right here. Ah, right, there goes the lights. Oh, there they go back on. This song is not shit. I didn't say it was shit, I said it's the shit. Oh, okay. Good. Place on earth. Covered by Mitchell. Kick out of two. She had such a good voice. I don't know who is that. Whitney Houston. Oh. Yeah, it is. My, uh, Covered my by Lightning Man. Stuff. Kick out. Yeah, ocean. Wait, what the heck is Ryan Mitchell doing? There you go, Sean. Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy! Shit, he just went coast to coast. He man. went all the way across the ring! And drop kicked coast. Lightning Man! Yeah. And a cover! And a... <laughs> not, 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 not even a one. There we go. That awkward moment where Slash is in this music video and Alex LaRose is still a dude. Kick out of two. Man, Slash is God tier guitar. Slash is God and Axel Rose is a Rose is a douche. No, Axel, Axel Rose, Rose is, is good as fuck when he was sober. Axel Rose is just an idiot. Yeah, yeah, when he was when he was sober and he was just Oh no, big disagree by Mitchell. Mitchell Axel should win this Rose match. Got one of the greatest rock there you go! Oh, oh. Really? God damn it. 1987, I knew it. I'm gonna give At least you we know what year it came. Never gonna say goodbye. I forgot that this was actually a hit song then. Yes, it was. He's another definition of a Damn woman. it. This was actually Sean number four on the end of year chart for 1988. Good. Oh. <laughs> That's because he had that big blooming. Big booming black guy voice, but Ryan he was just a little for some reason can't fight guy. Lightning Man away, and there might go the opposite. And Lightning Man steals one. I'd say, I, I personally that was believe hell of a match, though. he stole one from Ryan Mitchell. He probably should have won this match, but I like how we're having a year per match right now. But for some reason, Lightning Man no sold everything. Isn't this song on the Look Who's Talking soundtrack or something? Is this the entire song? Oh, it's that sexy shit. It's the NXS music. This was number two. Yeah, that song's sexy. Number one, Sean. Hell yeah. 
Cool. All right, so did we want 1985 next? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Wait a minute, damn it, you're jumping the gun. Hey, you know what? You're lucky I'm not making you not play this fucking music, so you let me do what I want. Here you go. Take me out. Oh, 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 Come on, that song is awesome to sing along to. I don't care who you are. I'm not hating on the song, the song is shit. We are in 1985 now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, my birth year, deal with it. Here we go! Glory days. Here we go! Glory days. <laughs> Glory day. <laughs> oh, this is a good song. I just don't know who sings it. Belong. Is that Linda Ronstadt? Who is it, Doom? Is that Paul Abdul? No, nope. Madonna. Well, I don't know all her fucking songs. <laughs> oh, oh my god! The That's the power of love. Huey Lewis! Okay, Sean, are we back? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here you go, Sean, it's your guy. You know who this is? What? It's Phil Collins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I that. yeah now suck his balls. Okay. Oh, shit! Wait a minute, why is this an empty arena match? Because no one cares about the two men in this match. Oh. Uh -huh. I think I should have thought this one through when I made it the main event. Yeah, there it is. It's about time for her to so I don't think it's about young Madonna pussy, goddammit. Hell yeah! Mr. Mr. Learn to fly again, try to listen to free. 
Mr. Mr. This is what all the savvy love songs. Cool in the gang. Still sappy ass love songs. That's a uh, NXS again, right? The thing. Tears for fears. Oh, tears for fears. Well, I don't fucking know. They all sound the same. Oh shit. Custom kitchen deliveries. Mission success. Feeling anymore. Oh shit, are your speed wagon, boo? What I started fighting for. Man, you're talking about a man turn. Whoa, whoa, oh. Oh my god. The heat is on. Oh shit, Kenny Every dri All the NASCAR drivers, run! We gotta get a Coke! Right? What? <laughs> <laughs> see? See what I'm talking about? Was so sappy I for love songs. I just believe we're These are some sappy God. cry love songs. I have a confession. Who is this? I like Paul Abdul. We are the world. Yeah, there's too many people in that song to name. Damn, World A was 1985. That's a good song. I don't know the band word shit, though. Quality on this one, not so good. I know. Well, that's, that's Gladys Knight, though, shit. There you go, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Don't oh, you <laughs> forget Molly, about me. Back when <laughs> Molly Ringwald was hot as la, 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 la. La 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 la! Fucking breakfast club. Don't your time. Only Rick Wall's hot as fuck. Hey, look, it's more Phil Collins. Yep. See you. The guys keep shining in the sun. They got, got their head thrown back in it. <laughs> fuck yeah! Boys of summer. <laughs> I have like three versions of this song. Oh man, look at that move by Ram Thorn. And he gets it done. Right. Live and it done in the real world. Awesome. All right, there you go. That's all for FTR, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for watching. W M U W M U W Mayhem is coming up in about five minutes. So, shall we turn? Just keep the mic on. I'll keep playing music. Oh shit, Lionel Richie! John, are we still on? Is that another Tears for Fear song? Yup. Damn, they was hot back in 1985. Yeah, they were. You know who this is? Girl, right there. It's Whitney. Yeah, I'm not going to mess it up her twice. Yeah. Hey, right? Mr. Watts, that's it.
Mr. Once and I miss Madonna once. Oh no, not again. Here we go. Uh, take on me. Take on me. Take me. Take on me. Take your <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs>